it's useless. And its value is useless. And a grape is a great symbol of our theme this week. Because a grape is really the fruit of a vine. You know, if you take it and eat it. And Jesus says, I'm the vine. And his fruit is to offer. He offers us a relationship. He offers us eternal life. If we're willing to accept it. And if we're willing to take him in us. See, tonight we consider a Savior that says, I in you. See, Jesus isn't just a historical figure. He's not some scientific theory. He's real. He's, he's a person. God in the flesh. God sent Jesus to this earth so that we could experience Him. Not just know Him. Not just imagine, but to experience Him. That's why Jesus came. And tonight... We, Jesus declares that he so desires to be in you, to be a part of you. You know, Jesus is a great storyteller, and he tells this parable, and I know it's not an accident, that Jesus tells this story, and he says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He wants us to realize the connection, his desire to be so connected with us. See, uh, a vine takes its nourishment and delivers it to the branch. As long as that branch stays connected to the vine, Jesus wants us to stay connected, connected to the vine. Are you connected to the vine? of Jesus Christ. As you consider that question, I know there's so many of you that have a solid relationship with Christ. You've accepted everything that Christ has done for you. But I wonder, I wonder if tonight, I wonder if this week, I wonder if through true devotions, I wonder if through evening programs, maybe Jesus was calling you, is calling you to something more. Calling you maybe to obey Him in a certain area that, you know, you've just kind of been lazy about. But see, Jesus the vine wants to protect and provide for us. And you know, I mean, our disobedience is really just a lack of trust and trusting in Him. Maybe, maybe for those of you who have a solid relationship with Him, maybe Jesus, you know, has just put on your heart to set something aside. You know, just set something aside for Him. I, I just want to encourage you to respond to Him. And then some of you in this room, you, you remember having a relationship with Christ. You know, in the past. Maybe, you know, last year's can. And something's changed your circumstances, whether good or bad. See, our good circumstances, you know, we don't need Jesus. We're, we're too busy for Jesus. Our bad circumstances, you know, like Julia confessed tonight. Our bad circumstances, some of you might be mad at God right now. And please, I want to, I just want to encourage you. Are you able, can you, would you trust Him even in the bad times? Even when life is tough. He wants to be there for you. He promises He will be there. And there's some of you who have never said yes to this offer, to this gift of a relationship with Jesus, to this offer of eternal life, to spend eternity with, with our Creator who loves us and cares about us so much. I want to encourage you to at least think about it. 
Think about responding to Jesus tonight. So where are you in all this? See, Jesus Christ died on a cross. He shed his blood for our sin and he offers us a gift. But it really means nothing if you don't accept it. He offers it. He's not going to force it on you, but he offers it and it's something that you can accept. Is it a possibility for you? Is it a reality for you? Because he offers this for you. I don't know if you've experienced the forgiveness, the love, the freedom, the peace, the joy, the strength, the hope, the power of Jesus in you. In you. You can have that. That is what he wants to offer. And I don't know where you're at. Have you only looked at Jesus from a distance but not taken him and invited him in? Is your connection with him all it should be or could be? I don't know where you're at in your relationship with God. I know so many of you are probably just playing church. I mean, look, I, I love you guys. I mean, you know, um, my daughter just started a new group. And, and just for a moment, if I could put my daughter's face on each of you, if I, if, if I had the time, I mean, if I could love you like that, I'm just, I'm just sharing, not only as a speaker, not only as a youth pastor, but as a daddy. And I just want to encourage you, you know, to stop playing the church. I mean, I know, I know you're one way in youth group, you're one way in front of the youth leaders, you're one way in front of the youth pastors. Maybe it's time for you to get off the fence and be the same. Remember I mentioned, you know, that I'm a follower of Christ is the only thing that encompasses all of us. The identity that the world gives you is not true. You are a child of the King. He loves you and cares about you more than you can even fathom. Stop playing. I don't know where you're at in your relationship with Christ, but I do know this. I do know this. Listen to this. That His desire, Christ's desire for you to connect with you took Him all the way to the cross. He wants to be with you, wants to be in you, wants to help you, doesn't want you to do life alone. His desire to connect with you took him all the way to the cross. And, and just like that grape, unless you take it, and make it a part of you, it is not going to make a difference in your life. I can only speak for myself. I am so glad that I wouldn't change a thing since inviting him into my life when I was 15 years old. I'm so glad that he is a part of